today I'm going to be showing you all the new lashes I picked up from Coco Lashes. I'm so excited about this video because I love eyelashes. Yeah, I just think this video is super fun. I think eyelashes are super fun. So if you want to see all the new styles I picked up, then keep on watching. So before I dive into the video, I also was going to address my hair. So I just got my hair done yesterday. I don't know if you guys can tell really. I went kind of a really deep and kind of like rich auburnish red color from my just sort of like chocolatey brunette shade so this is how it looks like I said I just got it done yesterday so I don't know if you guys will be able to tell on camera yeah I was just gonna talk about my hair real quick but now we can jump on into the video okay guys so my absolute favorite brand of lashes is Coco lashes I think they're beautiful they last forever for me and I just love the styles they are so unique also in my opinion they're very affordable because they look like those really really intense like expensive $30 lashes but they're not they're only like $7.99 a pair and that is just amazing to me because really honestly if you walk into like Ulta to buy a pair of Ardell lashes which I also love it's probably like at least four to five dollars I think at my store they're usually about six actually I think for the difference in the layering and like the handcrafted nature of these lashes and just the drama they have the price is incredible and like I said I think the quality is incredible and I have bought from Coco Lashes for years. They're on my Christmas list every year. I just absolutely adore the brand. So I picked up I think 10 pairs of lashes this time around because I really needed to restock my collection. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys what I got. So this is the first pair of lashes. This is the L Lash. I'm going to take it out of the package and show you guys. So these are the L Lashes. I'm going to do some close-ups for you guys so you can really get the full effect of these. But I really really love this style because it reminds me a lot of the Bella lashes from Coco Lashes except it's a little bit fuller, a little bit more fluttery. These are not so much the shiny kind of thick plasticky ones. These are a lot more wispy and just full and kind of like just voluminous. So I am really excited about these because I love lashes that flare out on the end. That's typically what I gravitate towards because I really like that kind of doe eyed like big eyed look. So I'm absolutely obsessed with these because for me these are kind of a more middle row natural lash um, I like huge lashes I really like huge lashes so these are just a nice kind of middle ground for me for when I'm not feeling too dramatic but I'm feeling a little bit dramatic okay so the next lash I picked up is the Gigi lash so I think this can you hear the birds chirping outside my window so these are the Gigi lashes. These are once again kind of on the more natural side for me. They are very wispy but they flare out more so in the middle. They're kind of bunched up and then the center is the longest point which like I said, I typically gravitate more toward the lashes that kind of gradually flare out on the ends. But I'm really excited to give this style a try because I think it is different for me. And you never know like what you're really going to like until you try it. Because I like how these are full all the way around. But then you've just got that slight definition right at the center of the eye. Which will really kind of open the eye up and make it look wider. So I'm really excited to try these. And also, I love when like the names of products like correlate with like something like this. It makes me think of Gigi Hadid. So I feel like I'm going to have that like supermodel energy when I wear these. <laughs> okay guys, so this is the Ariel Lash and this was my kind of wild adventurous pick for this haul. Um, these are not lashes I would typically gravitate towards but they are very unique and I actually like added them and then deleted them and added them and deleted them from my cart like a few times because I was like Am I going to like that? Like, I just don't know. Um, They are very spiky, and hopefully in the close-up you'll be able to tell that there is actually, like, two layers to these lashes, as there are with a lot of the other ones. But what makes these really different, in my opinion, is the bottom kind of lower layer is really, like, thin kind of wispy lashes that go out super long, but then the top layer is more like that kind of, like, chunked, together plastic that makes it sound terrible but like if you know lashes maybe you know what I mean like kind of the shinier thicker sort of lash and those go right along the top layer and really give this a spiky look um the reason I ended up getting these was because I don't know if you guys remember this but this was my prime in like probably 2014 2015 when I was like 13 14 years old like I don't know if you guys remember but like the really big spider kind of clumped together long looking lashes were super in and there was like a ton of like Maybelline mascara reviews like if you know what I mean you know what I mean it's always like oh like you want your lashes to be like wispy and like not clumped together and spidery but like girl I do want mine to be spidery sometimes like I don't know maybe it's just because like I'm imprinted into 
that air because it just reminds me of my childhood or something but yeah these remind me a lot of that kind of like really spidery kind of like mascara look which most false lashes don't look like you have on like a ton of mascara they just look like you have like fake eyelashes on so I'm just interested these kind of intrigued me and I'm really excited to see if I like these or not on my eye so these are just my baby these are a staple in my life these are the goddess lashes by coco lashes and they are just amazing but in my opinion these are the lashes that basically put coco lashes on the market and rightfully so because they are stunning and just gorgeous so they flare out longer on the ends but they're very spiky but they're not like the aerial lashes I just showed you where they're kind of clumped they're just sort of wispy but they're long and they're flared and they're just stunning like there's no one I've seen wearing these that doesn't look good in them they're just gorgeous for any eye shape any eye look I purchased these over and over and over again consistently they're just amazing and like if I was going to recommend one single lash from Coco Lashes it would definitely be these because these are just tried and true they've been tested they've been worn and they're just absolutely amazing and beautiful so this is the Scarlet Lash and this is a very unique style in my opinion but I'm super excited to try it because it is similar to Gigi in that the center of the eye is the focal point but is different to Gigi because it is not at all like those kind of like bunched like wispy clumps of lashes if you know what I mean instead it is very full all the way around but then right in the center there is a ton a ton a ton of extra definition and extra volume like that is the darkest and longest point of the lash which you can definitely tell even from a distance whereas the Gigi lash is just subtly longer in the center to just kind of like give a subtle look these are not subtle in my opinion I mean they're not like super crazy long or anything but I think these will just really give you that like big big eye look which I'm all about I also really like that they're called scarlet I just feel like it fits like the vibe of these lashes so well and I'm just very excited to test these out because I think I'm really gonna like them okay so next I have the Demi G lash so the Demi G lash to me is like a hybrid of the goddess lash and the GG lash because it has that same kind of uh, lash pattern to it as the goddess lash does because they're kind of clumped but spiky and still really fluttery without being too like harsh looking instead of going to shortest to longest these follow more of that GG style where the middle point is the longest I've heard a lot of good things about this lash as well I have never tried this lash so I'm very excited to try this because I feel like this gives the same kind of idea as the goddess lash does but instead of it flaring out on the end it kind of accentuates the center of the eye which I think I will really like because I feel like it's almost like the same lash in different formats so the next lash I have here is the foxy lash so these are the lashes that I'm kind of referring to when I say like the thicker kind of more plasticky looking lash hair they're super dark and full all the way around there is a slight difference in the length in the center of the eye but overall it stays relatively consistent but these are just drama these lashes are for when you want to feel a foxy because <laughs> they're called the foxy lash get it um but I really really like these this is what I love I love the drama and I just I just think these are going to be so beautiful and just so like statement and I love a good statement lash so this is the fifth Av lash which is actually what I am wearing right now I've actually had this pair of lashes since Christmas and I wear them all the time and they are still holding up beautifully I always get questions and comments about these lashes when I wear them in my videos when I wear them on Instagram when I wear them in real life people always ask me about these lashes because they're just that good the beginning of the eye it's super long and glam but they're a little bit clumpier and then they get longer and longer and longer as it goes out but at the very end they're less PC like in the inner corner and more wispy which I just think really opens up the eye a lot and also they're incredibly long like they are so super long I don't know if you guys can tell on camera but they're super glam super dramatic but one of my favorite things about this lash is that you can wear it with absolutely no eyeshadow at all or like I'm wearing it today with eyeliner and eyeshadow it looks great either way and it really accentuates my eye shape I feel because it just it opens it up and it's super dramatic but it doesn't like make my eyes look sleepy and heavy it really just kind of like elongates them so these lashes are different in that they're not like super crisscrossed and woven like a lot of flare lashes are they get more wispy and flared out towards the end but they're just beautiful they're perfect 
and I just know that these are lashes I never want to run out of. As soon as this pair gives out, I'm going to be breaking these bad boys out because I love them. Okay, so then I have the Stella lash here. So Stella lash is super doll-like. It has multiple layers to it. The bottom layer is much more kind of like subtle and um, like kind of crisscrossed, but then the top layer is super fluffy and kind of bunched together to give you that really doll-eyed look. Um, these are just beautiful, and I like that they're full of drama, but they're not super long because sometimes the long lashes will cover up your eyeshadow a little bit more. But I feel like these will give me that volume and the drama and the pop to my eye, but also you'll be able to still see my um, eyeshadow through it hopefully because they're just not as long as like the Fifth Ave lashes are. So I really like the way these look in the package. I wasn't too sure because the one thing Coco Lashes can improve on is like their Instagram game because there's a lot of these lashes that you can't see pictures of other than the single picture they have on the website Lady Moss Beauty where they sell these lashes and then on Instagram there's like not really that many pictures of people wearing the lashes especially in some of the newer styles so I was kind of taking a shot in the dark with these. I'd seen a few posts with people wearing them and I really liked the way it looked so I'm very glad I got these because I think they are something different to add to my collection. Okay so the last lash I bought is the Angelic Lash and I bought this one because it was called the Angelic Lash and like I said I'm a sucker for like names and packaging for some reason. I don't know. So these are definitely the most subtle and natural lashes I bought. They are super pretty because they are very light and wispy they're not too long but they definitely flare out on the ends which I like I said is my favorite style so I'm super excited for these because I think these will look absolutely beautiful when I'm not doing a super heavy glam look but I just want to look like really girly and feminine and just have that kind of Bambi eyed look I'm really glad I got them because sometimes I need to tone it down. So yeah, I absolutely love how PC and wispy these are because I just think they're going to look so dainty and gorgeous on my eye. Okay guys, so that completes my Coco Lashes Lash Haul. Um, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and follow me on all my other social media. Let me know what you thought of this video down below. Let me know what your favorite Coco Lashes are or if you're going to try any of these. And yeah guys, thank you so much for watching and I love you bunches. Bye! Mm -hmm.